Hello everyone, welcome back to Radiology Med Easy, your all-time favorite YouTube channel. Let's see today's case. So, this is the image of today's case. First, go through it and come to your own diagnosis. Then, we will continue with the case discussion. Hi everyone, this is case number 19 of RS series in radiology. Today our patient is a 2 week year old neonate uh, who is a ventilated one and has past history of uh, respiratory distress syndrome due to prematurity. And this is the frontal chest radiograph of that neonate. So there are a few uh, tubes and lines here you can see the endotracheal tube here which is at the correct position and this is the line of the NG tube yes and here there's a central umbilical arterial catheter and here umbilical venous catheter so they are at the correct position and it's a chest lead also you can see for monitoring purpose and in the lungs the x-ray is slightly rotated that's why the heart is more towards left side so it's a rotated x-ray and uh, you can see some linear lucencies here you can see a lucency bilateral symmetrical linear lucencies are there yeah multiple linear lucencies are there yeah branching type linear lucencies so linear lucencies are there and uh, lung volumes are satisfactory and uh, no pleural effusions no bs consolidations and no pneumothorax no pneumomediastinum no bs pneumopericardium no uh, bone abnormalities here and uh, you don't see any pneumoperitoneum also no new, uh, no mediastinal masses and diagnosis of this case is pulmonary interstitial emphysema uh, differential diagnosis uh, uh, bronchopulmonary dysplasia pulmonary interstitial emphysema progresses to bronchopulmonary dysplasia after 4 weeks or 28 days if the patient is continuously ventilated with positive pressure and uh, congenital pulmonary airway malformation can also have cystic lucencies and they are more rounded BPD also rounded lucencies rather than linear ones in PE pulmonary interstitial emphysema they get linear lucencies and uh, when we talk about pulmonary interstitial emphysema it is due to uh, ventilation positive pressure ventilation in a respiratory distress child due to highland membrane no meconium aspiration there's increased pressure within the alveoli then alveoli get ruptured then those uh, there's air leakage into the interstitium or interlibular septa which is there are, you there are lymphatics and veins in those interlobular septa that's why you see those uh, linear lucencies in pulmonary interstitial emphysema so uh, if it is continuous the patient is continuously ventilated then there is progression to bronchopulmonary dysplasia or lung fibrosis so that concludes case number 19 of our RS series. So please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Then you will get notifications of our new videos. And also you can comment on our videos. Then we can make amendments of our future videos. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for more videos like this.